I think, of course, as NatureWorks, we participate in a lot of conferences. Um, and what we always feel is that there is not one conference where truly everybody, all the stakeholders in this bio community can get together. This is my first uh, visit to this conference, so I was uh, really thrilled to, to meet and hear others who are asking the same question. The one surprise to me at the conference is that there's an excitement here that has really caught me off guard and it's very easy to get engaged in. It's a pleasure to be here to meet uh, wonderful people uh, in this industry. I feel like the world of biopolymers is changing really rapidly. People from everywhere are interested in the subject and are here to learn just like I am. A conference like this, Innovation Takes Root, is an opportunity to see what is happening in the field and to see some of the kinds of applications. I think the uh, excellent part about IDR is that it really brings together uh, the scientific community that's working on uh, biopolymers. The Innovation Takes Roots Conference is just a great meeting place, so it's very, very exciting to see the developments and to hear them here at this event. Well, the reason it's important for me to be here and for all of us in the industry to be here is that uh, what we put into the package is only part of the story. The package itself is a huge part of our ecological footprint, our water footprint, our toxins footprint. People here are incredibly excited about biopolymers, and I think you know many of the attendees here recognize that they are sort of at the starting point of this new generation of plastics. As a brand owner, it's hugely important for us to get involved early on and be aware of the developments and identify opportunities where we may be able to implement them on our products and deliver what our consumer is looking for. I was asked by NatureWorks to come and speak at the conference about uh, sustainability from the General Mills perspective. The sustainability goals are a high priority for a lot of companies from big companies like General Mills and ConAgra to smaller companies like Stonyfield. I think uh, the future of biopolymers is very similar to the future of foods. Uh, we're moving towards organic. The way people view biopolymers even as little as 24 months ago, I think is dramatically different than the way they view them today. The world will, will use more uh, biopolymers. It's not a question of whether, it's a question of how fast. Biopolymers can really affect uh, uh, anything from uh, climate change, uh, to uh, space and landfills, uh, to really the overall uh, happiness of tomorrow. I'm very impressed by the caliber of the people and by the international sort of flavor of the crowd. I think about 50% of the participants are Americans. 50% uh, is from outside the United States. So there's this wonderful spirit of collaboration that's uh, going on here. I think that's really the important point. Um, this isn't so much about sharing the answers. This is, I think there's a little bit of humility involved in this process. NatureWorks is a, it just hosting it, but not really selling its alternatives, but really uh, providing a forum for everyone to learn from each other. People have come up to me, showed me uh, new applications or new end uses for the product, which I thought really weren't even possible. The folks at NatureWorks, they're the the leading experts on PLA and therefore biopolymers and so the fact that they're making the effort to put on this type of event and help educate the rest of us I think it's great. ITR is really a great step in uh, helping the global community kind of reduce the reliance on uh, petroleum-based plastics and uh, really you know bringing sustainability into our future and I think uh, meetings like this are really a great step in uh, achieving that kind of goal.